For the LCU Wildcats, there's been no place like home for the past two years. And that would be the theme again Saturday against Arkansas Baptist. The teams traded possessions for most of the first quarter. But late in the quarter, the Wildcats defense comes up big. Bubba Reed's hit on Jacob Parks causes the fumble. Benny Clark with the recovery and LCU takes over at the Arkansas 25. The Wildcats hoping to convert. Sal Palermo finding Sammy Feaster for 17 yards down to the eight yard line. On the next play, a sign of things to come as running back Dalen Charles takes it in for the eight yard score. Wildcats lead 7-0 in the first quarter. Early in the second quarter, more Wildcats defense. With the Buffaloes driving, senior Michael Latin with the sack on Marlon Patterson to force the fumble. Wildcats' Tyrus Ellis recovers at their own 25. For Latin, his seventh sack of the season. He needs one more sack to set a new single season team record. The Wildcats will go on another scoring drive using mostly the ground game. Dalen Charles for 26 yards here down to the 10 yard line. Two plays later, it's Devin Briscoe leaping from the one. That makes the score 14-0 Wildcats. Later in the second, LCU's defense comes up big again. Chris Bradford in for Patterson, and the Wildcats get to him. DeMarco Collins with the sack and forces the fumble. It's recovered by Tay Eldridge at the Arkansas Baptist 48. On LCU's first play after the fumble recovery, there's that guy again, Dalen Charles. This time, he takes it 48 yards for the touchdown his second of the day to make it 21-0 LCU. Charles making his first start of the season and he's making it count. Just when the Wildcats were riding high, the Buffalo answers back on special teams. Atavian Ray takes the kickoff at the eight and returns it 92 yards for the score. They would make a two-point conversion as well to cut the score 28-8. to eight. But on the Wildcats' next drive, a couple of big penalties, including a personal foul and roughing the kicker on a missed field goal attempt, puts the Wildcats at the Arkansas Baptist 7. That's when Charles gets his third touchdown of the day to make it 28-8. He would finish the game with 165 yards and three touchdowns. Something he says he couldn't have done without his lineman up front. At halftime, a special moment for LCU football. The 2012 Wildcats team is honored. That team was the only team to make a Division III playoff game as they finished the season 8-2. Offensive lineman Jeremy Yunovich, who spent seven seasons in the NFL, was also given a plaque ahead of his induction into the LCU Sports Hall of Fame. To the second half, and early in the third quarter, the Buffaloes looking to punt, but a bad snap results in the Wildcats recovering at the Arkansas Baptist 32. LCU takes it to the one-yard line, where Sal Palermo does the rest on the quarterback sneak. LCU's lead grows 35-8. to eight. The Wildcats' defense was strong all game and produces another turnover. Here, Bradford intercepted by Jaheim Mitchell at the 49. LCU takes the ball 49 yards in six plays, capped by Rob McKnight's 17-yard touchdown run. The Wildcats' lead grows 42-8. to eight. Arkansas Baptist would add a late touchdown but overall, the Wildcats defense shut them down, allowing just 214 yards total, 127 through the air, and only 87 on the ground. As the Wildcats front four, Micah Latin, Logan Brimmer, Lakeelan Borch, and Big Will Robinson continue to dominate. We like the defense. Yeah, defense.
The Wildcats win the game 42 to 14 to prove two and four in the season and two and three in the Sooner Athletic Conference. Both wins have come at home where the Wildcats have played their best football. Next is Wayland Baptist at home this Saturday. Saturday's game will start at 2 p.m. Reporting for Wildcats Media, I'm Kai Stone.